Between the global financial crisis and concerns about terrorism, you don't have to look hard to find some pretty dire news headlines at the moment. However, not everyone is letting the serious side of life get them down. A new national organisation called Creativity Australia is aiming to unleash untapped creative potential in the workplace. The group aims to help people rediscover their creative talents and one of its first projects is a series of corporate choirs. Tanya de Jong is the founder of Creativity Australia and she joins us now. Tanya, good morning. Good morning. Well, there are corporate netball teams and corporate basketball team so mm -hmm. I guess why not a corporate choir? Absolutely and one of the great things is that you know in corporates we have all these physical exercise programs but it doesn't tap into everybody and the really important thing is to tap into the right side of people's brains for a change because we've been forgetting to do that for a long time. I guess the challenge though is getting people to set aside the time to get involved in something like this how are you going to mm. do that? Well, we're getting an amazing response actually from the corporate sector because I think we are, we do have this epidemic of anxiety about, you know, our global environment and I think people are really seeking for answers. And so this sort of program is approaching our inner environment and helping us to think and feel and connect with people. And I think people are wanting to connect with one another more than ever at the moment, so... And you think there's a lot of undiscovered talent out there? Um, yeah, and it's not really about that. I think one of the really important things is that creativity is not a unique talent. It's something that we all have. And if we continue to ignore it and focus perhaps on numeracy and literacy too much in our education system, then we don't unlock people's full potential and that's why there's such a high rate of depression and, you know, absenteeism and so on. Tanya, tell us yeah. about the idea for this, uh, this whole project of Creativity mm. Australia, uh, where it came from yes. and what it is that you hope to do in the workplace. Uh, look, it came from the fact that I set up a previous not-for-profit called The Song Room, which reaches um, under, underprivileged children with music programs and that's really affected children positively and their communities in the sense that they really want to come to school and they want to achieve academically. And I've always had a really strong interest in mental health and if you read the figures, presenteeism and absenteeism is costing employers some $11 billion a year. And I think people are really wanting to create more productive situations in their workplace but they don't really know how to connect with their employees properly. And so they're looking to do things that actually people come and do together and talk across departments in their organisations so that they're not in their silos of thinking. And <laughs> you know, we're coming out of a command economy and innovation hasn't really been at the forefront of our minds either. And people always say, well, we're an innovative company, yet they have no processes for actually getting innovative and fostering innovation. Well, I guess if they're interested then in fostering that, they can get in touch with Creativity Australia and talk to you about your programs. Definitely. Tanya de Jong, thanks so much. Thanks so much.